Hello, welcome to the UO Den Retro. My name is Vincent and welcome to another video. Um, today I have a quick unboxing of uh, a case uh, for the Note 9. Um, the case is a uh, Coolden, um, but basically it's a polycarbonate um, composite case. Um, this is a lower end model, um, so it costs less than £10. Uh, is reasonably cheap. Um, so the things uh, it's available from Amazon. Uh, so it's worth, it doesn't get much in the box. Obviously, it just says maybe high quality environmental uh, materials. Uh, easy access to all buttons, etc., etc. Brand new compatible with your phone. So I'll pick this up uh, as a sort of basically because it looked like um, it was uh, a good cost between being cheap and not too expensive and yet still having a very similar sort of ability to um, UAG cases which are, I've had before uh, but they they run quite expensive um, now pulling this out of the case uh, it does have a very similar style to inside um, to very similar to Spigen or um, in fact actually it's very similar to the UAG case that I've had previously actually um, it is a two-part case apparently, um, in that the rubber bit is separate, but in this case it doesn't actually add any functionality by taking it off in the first place. Um, you get like little rubbery screws, as you can see here, um, they just hold things in place. You get a fake uh, polycar, not polycarbonate, sorry, Kevlar style finished, but carbon fiber finish, not polycarbonate, uh, carbon yeah, carbon fiber. Uh, um, it does have reasonably good corner protection. Um, flaps on each of the things need to be flexed back, uh, which might be an issue. So if I just get uh, quickly my case uh, that came with the phone out, so check this off very quickly. Oops, this is quite a stiff case actually. It's a clear case that came with the phone, uh, so it's actually. Quite a decent case, but it's quite slippy, uh, so I won't use that any longer. Uh, very quickly, just snip this in. Usually, it's from the top. Uh, all being well, it should fit with the screen protector on. And yes, indeed, it does. It is actually a good, perfect fit. A little bit of flex on this side, as you can see, and. There's a little bit of a gap on each side between the screen protector and the screen protector itself that came with, I got installed, isn't the best. Um, so this won't be edge to edge, but it is good enough. Um, I mean, the edge is a slight gap, so there will be some dust um, potentially connecting there. It doesn't, the case on this case doesn't cover quite as much as the clear one did. Um, so there's a good amount of gap so in case you need to wipe off. Uh, the phone itself, the bottom is very, very snug. Um, it's good clickiness, reasonably good. Uh, and then you have Bixby, volume up, volume down. It does click reasonably well. Um, there's a port, isn't it yet? It's got a microphone. It, all ports need to match up. Um, you do need to flex this back, which is a bit awkward. Um, but it does flex back reasonably easily. Uh, same with the headphone port. Uh, I'm not going to see myself cutting this off in the future because I do use wide headphones quite a lot. Um, but that S Pen. Yeah. I mean, this one has a very good corner and it's quite stiff though. So I'm not sure how much damage it will take uh, in the long term. Uh, but that's the Cruden case uh, available from Amazon. Uh, I wonder about six, seven, so I think it's seven ninety nine or six ninety nine, uh, to UK pounds at the moment. So that's so this is on a cheap end scale. It does feel reasonably good. The grip is fairly okay. It's not slippy in any means. I mean the back itself is actually quite good. Uh, this these bits are a bit odd, but it's very solid feeling. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to creak or anything like that. So that's it, quick unboxing of the Coolden, uh, well, Coolden phone accessory case, uh, which is uh, 
basic case basically which is handy if you're on a budget. Thanks for watching, I uh, hope to see you in another video.